weather with Tom Kiffin. Another nice day here in the UP. I know one of my neighbors um, where I live in Nagani was busy chipping away at the ice today, hopeful for it to melt. So. Yeah, I noticed a lot of people were doing that on the east side of Marquette today as well. I tell you what, though, the drawback about the Uper Spring here, I noticed more mud today. We did melt a lot of snow, and I was looking over on one of the computers to figure out how much snow depth we got at the National Weather Service in Nagani Township. We're down to two feet of snow, so we've definitely melted some snow off over the past couple of days, and I've noticed some patches of mud, maybe some grass in and around the city of Marquette, but we got a while to go to melt some snow, and we got a couple of snow chances on the way. But Let's look at today's map here. We had 50 degrees, Sawyer International. We had 42, though, for Escanaba, so definitely a little bit cooler closer to the Lake Michigan shoreline. 44, Manistique also had some fog that kind of hung tough there as well. But Central and West, where we did hang on to some sunshine on and off throughout the day, that's where temperatures warmed up. And check out Iron Mountain. That's almost shorts weather, Becca. It 57 is. <laughs> degrees for a high temperature and Menominee almost 60 today and they had 60s further south where uh, Carol Bartomley is in Manitowoc so they made it into the 60s today but they got some chillier changes on the way as we head into the next couple of days here. Let's look at our almanac here, Becca. 53 officially at the National Weather Service. 36 the low temperature this morning. That is the first above freezing low temperature we've had since December 15th. So we've had two months of every night being below freezing. So that streak stopped this morning. Compare that to normal, 35 and 15 are the average high and low temperatures. We were nowhere close to a record high though today, Becca, 64. And I think a few of us remember that the warm spring, the warm March we had here in the Midwest here. And people talk about here in Marquette, the March St. Patrick's Day of 2012, where it was almost feeling like summer. It's not going to feel like summer tomorrow, but it's definitely not going to be too terribly cold. But 64, the record high, 2012 on this date. And then, Becca, here's your friendly reminder of how cold it can still get this time of year. Record low temperature for this time of year or for this date, March 15th, was set back on March 15th, 2014, 16 below zero. And then downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, 52 degrees. That probably explains why we melted a lot of snow today on Marquette's east side. 52 was today's high, and we didn't drop below freezing last night either. 37 the low temperature. And for the 2021-2022 winter season, we've picked up 176.1 inches of snow. We may be adding to that potentially Friday night and then also once again next week. But it's going to be a close call here in Marquette on Friday night with the snow. I'm not really thrilled about our snow chances here in the central and west, but going to the eastern UP, that could be a whole different story Friday night. We could see the snow add on up a little bit and across the northern lower peninsula as well as you go south of the Mackinac Bridge. And then we could have some accumulating snow or some rain even too early to tell for the middle of next week. But it's good that we are getting the precipitation in here, unlike last year when we had the dry spell and we had that dry late winter and on into the spring. So what we're going to do is take a look at the wind gusts. We're going to take our weather computer full here as we see our high our highest wind gusts for today. Not too terribly gusty, but as you can see, they were up there. 25 mile per hour wind gusts for Iron Mountain, 29 mile per hour wind gusts for Munising, and a 22 mile per hour wind gust for Copper Harbor. There's your temperatures right now. They're still mild as we approach the 11 o'clock Eastern hour. We have 40 for Escanaba, 38 for Manistique, 44 still downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, 41 degrees for Houghton, and 46 degrees for Ironwood. Grand Marais, Michigan, still 45 degrees. So as we look at our local three radar network, you can see some radar returns in the eastern UP, like Newberry over towards Curtis and Ingadine, and then down towards Manistique. Tell you what, a lot of this precipitation not even reaching the ground here, but that's all part of a cold front that's coming on through here tonight. Not much fanfare with it, and that cold front's going to move to the east. Tomorrow, clouds, perhaps a little bit of sunshine, but I think it's going to be a little bit chillier for tomorrow. And then as we get you into Friday, here's a storm system that's going to make a close approach to the upper, the upper peninsula of Michigan. And like I said, central and west, maybe a couple of snow showers, but your better snow chances, your better chances of seeing accumulating snow will be across the eastern UP and across northern lower Michigan. And in fact, I'll step out of the way here. You can see on the lower right hand corner of your screen here, you can even see some mixed precipitation. So they could be definitely dealing with some travel issues here as you go south of the Mackinac Bridge along Interstate 75. Here's
just the overall setup. There's your cold front coming on through here as we go through the rest of the night tonight. That's going to move to the east and then bottom part of your TV screen here. That's what we're going to be focusing on here as we go into the daytime on Friday. There's this frontal boundary dividing the warmer air and the cooler air. We're going to start to get into the cooler air here as we go into tomorrow and also Friday and then late in the day Friday here into Friday night. Here's this potent storm system that's going to make an approach to upper Michigan here. Gets kind of close, so we'll just have to wait and see how this all pans out by the time we get to Friday. But definitely lower Michigan's going to get some heavier precipitation. They're looking at widespread rain as you head towards Grand Rapids and Detroit. But as you get north of Mount Pleasant and also West Branch, Michigan, that's where they could be looking at some accumulating wintry precipitation, whether that's freezing rain or snow. And then for us here in the UP, yeah, the eastern UP could get in on a little bit of accumulating wintry precipitation as well. So all in all, stay tuned and we'll wait and see how that all pans on out. Around 30 or the 30s for the rest of the night tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures 30s and 40s. Warmest temperatures south central UP. And then overall, what's ahead? Light wintry precipitation overnight or light precipitation. Chillier on Thursday. And then we're just watching Friday and early Saturday for the possibility of seeing some wintry precipitation. But by the weekend here, you can see in your seven-day forecast, we are dry here. 39 for Saturday for Marquette, 43 on Sunday. And then a slight chance of rain or snow for the middle of next week, and that's going to be the same for Escanaba and Gladstone. But in the meantime here for the weekend, we're dry other than a slight rain or snow chance, 41, and then maybe pushing 50 on Sunday. Becca, we'll send it back to you.